I'm a major loose guard. Now, now I see why some people know they like to do good. Now, now I see why people believe, say, the reward for doing good, not evil. Why? Because some persons no deserve goodness for their life. This video you are about to watch will show you the confession of this man who took the life of a very good man. This will not be the time for religious play. The particular man, now one Islamic uh, scholar, Sheikh Mohammed Ghani. This man, they come from somewhere. They try to return back to house. As he day rode, now he meet this particular man. This man nowhere take his life, so now he meet up for road. The man they stranded. Now this scholar comes to ah, out of the abundance of my heart, make I help this man reach his destination. Now he comes and say, where you they go? He's saying they go so so and so place. Now the man can say no problem, enter motor. Carry this man free of charge, put for a motor. As they, they go for road, this particular man where he carry for motor so where he named now John Gabriel, now military man, but on that day he get mufti. Now this call ahead. Now this John Gabriel can tell and say, he be like say your motor they make sound. I then stop the motor, make you check. More find out what thing they happen. Now the man say not be like, be like say I they hear the sound. Now the man innocently stop the vehicle. Say make quick ease himself, then check what thing they happen to a car. As this man come down for motor. Now this John Gabriel, so one of the list you know, carry a gun. Now I release him for the man. According to this John Gabriel, he say if I give a warning sign. Say the man no listen, the man no run. Because if he won't just carry the motor. Yeah, oh, Nigeria soldier. Oh. He says, as the man still stay, now he says, okay, make a woman your western. He western. Now the man buy. Now he take his phone. Take call one of his friends. When we say two of them gather dead, the same soldier. Say, make that one call. Make that one call, see, say one or two. As that one they call, that one bring motor. Hoping to say, he won't call carry him, rescue him, make they hide the whole thing. But the team burst. My people, Mona listening to their confession. We are approaching Judge Maji, five to six kilometers to Judge Maji. So the glass, the glass of the vehicle is already wind down. So I now ask him, I'm hearing a sound under your vehicle. He said, okay, maybe he's suspecting something under the vehicle. Let him park and check. So he parked at the side shoulder of the road. When he parked at the shoulder of the road, that's where he drop as he's dropping that's how me i drop and i drop when he went under of the vehicle to check what he's suspecting as he's checking it he saw that it's not what he's, he's suspecting it's not the fault right? yes sir that was the plot for me to make him drop from the vehicle yes so after he dropped he checked it he didn't say anything so after he's checking when he's checking the under of the vehicle that's when because even me too i i drop that's where i now remove my own rifle and I ran to my magazine and fix. So you know, and I asked him to, what of the back tire? Did you check the back tire or we should just go? He said, let him check the back tire. So as he's trying to cross over to the back tire through the passenger side, that's where I removed my rifle and I pointed at him. He now asked me, what have I done to you? What have I done? I said, you don't do anything. I did you want to I say, oh, no, I don't want to He keep quiet. So I now fired warning shot. I, I fired up thinking that it would scare him so that he will run away. At that spot now, the car is still steaming. It's not off. The car is still steaming. The car is not off yet. So when I fired a warning shot, thinking that the man will run away, but the man did not run away. So at that spot now, when he want to go, when the man want to run because of the first shot, when he want to run away and enter a vehicle, I now fired a second shot.